Well, it is a Thursday morning. It is April 13th, and lo and behold, the school year is starting to wind down quickly, and that means project graduation is uh, coming up rather quickly, and uh, Steve Tyser joins me, too. Good morning. How are you today? I'm well. How about yourself? Uh, you know, it's uh, just another day in the life living the dream. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, project graduation, I'll be here before we know it. We're about a month and a half away here. Uh, first of all, tell me how things are kind of coming together here, because I know there's a lot of work uh, that goes in behind the scenes for this event. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're looking at putting on an all-night party for about uh, roughly 200 kids here in the Laramie area. Uh, and it's a, it's a collaborative group with basically with a lot of parents that are working really hard to put this on. And so we've got a lot of different committee chairs that are all putting their time and effort in. and and trying to put together a good night for these graduating seniors seniors in Albany County. Yeah, absolutely. And this encompasses everybody in Albany County. We do want to remind folks on that. Uh, give us date, time, location. What, what are we looking at yeah, this year? Yeah, absolutely. So it's on the 26th, which is Friday following graduation. The party will go from 9 to 3 a.m., or 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Uh, and like you say, it does include everyone in Albany County. So obviously those from Laramie High, folks from out at Rock River and then any uh, homeschooled kids are also welcome to attend. We'd love to have everybody. Absolutely. How has planning gone? What are we looking at in terms of, uh, you mentioned several different chairs, but uh, what are we looking at in terms of uh, how people can get involved, so whether it's donations or helping out at the events or businesses getting involved? Uh, what are we sure, looking at? Sure, absolutely. So we're always in need of volunteers and donations. Um, so I've got some ways for people to help us out here. Uh, if they'd like to volunteer either time to help us out at the party that evening, or if they could provide food, uh, they can get a hold of us at Plainsman Project Graduation at gmail.com. That's Plainsman Project Graduation at gmail.com. Uh, anyone that could provide uh, some cash to help us out, uh, they can send something into box 1944 here in Laramie, 82073. Always got to remember the three on the uh, P.O. box. That's there. correct. <laughs> yeah. And then anyone, any business or anyone that can provide gifts for like gift baskets or anything that people will raffle off there at the uh, party, uh, they can contact Nicole at the high school and her number is 721-4427. You mentioned the manpower that goes into this and the several different committee chairs. About how many people, how many parents are involved with this? Do you, you got a, just a guesstimation? Sure. So <laughs> just, just committee chairs, uh, you're probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 15 people. Oh, wow. And then they have folks that are helping them out as well. Uh, and that doesn't include those that will end up volunteering their time uh, that evening. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot goes into it. Again, it is Project Graduation. It's one of the bigger events that happens uh, for the high school kids, and again, this is for seniors, and uh, you've got uh, a lot of uh, uh, what uh, the you get some senior parents that get involved, but some of this uh, also kind of falls a little bit on some of the junior and sophomore parents to get involved because they want things to kind of roll over from year to year, from what I understand. Yeah, that's correct. There'll be some junior parents that are involved so that they kind of have a lay of the land when they go to tackle this project uh, themselves next year. Uh, but like you say, it's just a great opportunity. Um, speaking from personal experience as a Laramie graduate, uh, I won't say how long ago, but it was a great time uh, when I was there back in the day. <laughs> and uh, it's something that I still remember. And like I said, that was a while ago. So it was, uh, it was a good time, and it's just a, it's a great environment, drug and alcohol free for these kids on their, the night of their graduation. Well, when did you guys start talking about uh, putting things together initially for project graduation. Sure, well, it's it's really a year-round uh, event as far as the planning goes. Um, you know, any any donations that come in even after this deadline or any, you know, after this graduation will um, will go towards next. Mm -hmm. So it uh, it's pretty seamless, really. It, it, takes, it takes a year to plan something like that. We'll remind you of the phone numbers, the emails, and all the, all the contact here coming up in just a moment. What are some of the things that you guys have already gotten? Because I know this community is great in supporting this uh, in this project Absolutely. graduation and event. I wanted to mention that. I mean, this is Laramie is a great community. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to live here and have a business myself here, and, and it's just a great community. And, and so I want to thank those that have already donated and, and just encourage those that haven't. We're still a little bit short of our goal and, and just this last little push here. But, yeah, I mean, the, the prizes and the, and the games, um, I can go over a few of those, just highlight those real quick. But um, there'll be a, uh, we'll have a, a DJ, of course, There'll be a magician and a hypnotist there, easy for me to say, the evening. Uh, there'll be poker tables, roulette wheels, um, 
Uh, there's a human foosball event, which I've, I've not seen in person, human but, but uh, I've been told that it's hilarious and a lot of fun. So those are some of the some of the games. And then prize-wise, uh, we will be giving away a vehicle that night. Oh. Uh, there's several, uh, I know of at least three TVs at this point, and then shopping is going on all the time for the additional prizes that are available. Man, where was this when I was going? <laughs> That's okay. I grew up in a bigger city. I won't say which city. Most people know around here, but that's okay. So project graduation, again, coming up on May 26th from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Where were you at this year? We're at the Laramie Ice Center. Oh, okay, so the Ice and Event Center out there off of... Uh, a little closer to the high school now. That's interesting. Much closer to the high school. <laughs> just a stone's throw away. That's right. Well, you got to have a pretty good arm. That, that makes my <laughs> arm hurt just thinking about it. All right, so some great things involved, but still, as you mentioned, in need of some things. Uh, what, what's the theme this year for this senior class? So uh, it's inspired by Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go. So uh, that's, the, that's the theme this year. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's a great time for seniors to be, uh, to be high school kids one more night before the reality of college and, uh, and a summer of making some money gets, <laughs> gets home before, uh, before they go off to college. You so. mentioned the hypnotist. Do you want you want your own son to go under the hypnotist just to just to enlighten you a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a few things that we could always work on. That I might uh, might have to hit him up on that before the event. All right. Well, uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, I mean, just curious as to if we've missed any any other of the fine details. Here. I guess the only other thing I'd mention is that we are asking uh, the parents of the seniors that can uh, provide forty dollars for their student to attend the event. Okay. If they can't, it's not uh, it's not a you can't get in the door type of thing. We'd still love to have everybody, but gotcha. if they're able just to help out, it's a forty dollar basically donation, and they can go onto the LHS website and donate there through PayPal. Okay, you can do that. All right, remind us though of some of the contacts, uh, it, how people can get involved. You mentioned Nicole at the high school, what that contact number and what that is for. Sure, so for any gifts that uh, companies or folks would pro like to provide for raffles, they can contact Nicole at 721-4427. Okay. Anyone that would like to provide uh, some cash to help us uh, you know, with our last expenses, it's box 1944 here in Laramie at 82073. And then anyone who can volunteer their time to work the event or would like to provide some food, our food is all tailgate style food, okay. and then coffees or desserts or what have you. Uh, that is Plainsman with an E on the end, Plainsman Project Graduation at gmail.com. All right, as simple as that. Again, coming up on the 26th from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m and then they end up sleeping for like 12 hours after that. So. And the volunteers as well. Yeah, no doubt about that. So, uh, well, you guys still have to clean up after that. That's so. right. And now, is there a cleanup committee? There is a cleanup I, committee, I, I, I yes. thought there was yeah. once upon a time. Every once in a while, you pick things up when you've been around here as long as I have. All right, uh, again, the 26th of May, coming up 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. at the Laramie Ice and Event Center. It is Project Graduation, and folks in the community, you've done, you do a great job. But if uh, you can still help out. They're still looking for some help, uh, not only volunteer-wise, but also uh, with some of the expenses and things like that. Steve, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for all you guys have done. We appreciate your help.